Hello, everyone. My name is Caitlin, and I will facilitate today's full body stretch if you are short on time. Make your way onto your mat, remove any additionals, and you'll find yourself in tabletop, hands and knees. Inhale, cow, lift your chest and your head. Exhale, cat back, dome out the shoulder blades, tuck your pelvis. Inhale, cow pose, gazes forward or upward. Exhale, cat spine strong through your inner hands. Inhale, cow pose from the base of your chin to your lower abdominals. Exhale, cat from the brainstem down to the tailbone. Find your neutral table. Inhale, reach your right arm high. Exhale, thread the needle, hover right shoulder. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, thread it through, reach to the left. Inhale, right arm high. Exhale, thread it through, bend your left elbow. Inhale, gaze is high, right arm lift, and exhale, tabletop. Inhale, upward facing dog, sink the pelvis, lift the heart. Exhale, embryo pose, hips back, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, upward facing dog, you can keep your knees and thighs grounded. Exhale, embryo pose, round spine, heavy head. Again, inhale, upward facing. Keep it smooth, keep it steady. Exhale, embryo pose. Then you return to your hands. Stay strong through your right hand. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale, thread the needle, twist from low belly and ribs. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread it through. Keep that hover through the left side of your head. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, thread it through and squeeze. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, tabletop. Downward facing dog, tuck your toes under and get heavy through your heels. A big step forward, right foot outside of your right hand, lizard lunge. You can stay upright on your hands. If it's accessible, bend your elbows and come down to your forearms. Feel that your left foot and left leg are engaged, active. Last few counts in your lizard lunge, focus on your right hip crease. Pyramid pose, toe heel your right foot in between your hands and hop your left foot forward so that your left heel can firmly root down into your mat. Encourage your right hip back in space as you get really heavy through the crown of your head. Set your gaze for these last few moments in pyramid pose. Big step left foot forward to meet your right. Feet about hips width distance and ragdoll your arms. Grab opposite wrists, forearms, or triceps. Feel the weight of your head. That way you can lengthen out your neck and breathe a little deeper into your low belly and low back. You feel solid through your feet. Big step back, right foot back. Keep your left foot forward for lizard lunge on your left side. Remember that you can stay on hands, or if it's appropriate, come down to your elbows. Right leg alive and full of strength for these last few counts. Focus on your left hip crease. Pyramid pose, you return to your hands and hop your right foot forward just enough so that your right heel is firmly rooted into the floor or into your mat. Bump your left hip back in space and take these last few breaths into the belly of your left hamstrings. Big step forward, right foot meets your left. Feet about hips width distance, bend your knees, let your belly and ribs snuggle in close to your thighs. Expand your chest, interlace your fingers at your low back. Wrap your shoulders open and press your knuckles away from your head. If this is really intense on your hamstrings, bend your knees. If the chest expansion is too much, simply say no thank you and keep your hands on the floor. Break that bind. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, malasana, low squat. Toes angle out, heels draw in. 
Collect your hands at your heart and lift upward through the base of your skull. Tip your gaze down and take a few breaths wide into your rib cage. Take one more inhalation and on your exhalation, tabletop, return to hands and knees. Tuck your toes under. We'll set up for broken toe pose. Walk your hands back towards your knees and take a seat on your heels. If it's appropriate, sit tall, stack your shoulders above your hips, and collect your hands at your heart. Set your gaze or close your eyes as I count you down for five. Make sure that you're breathing deep and wide for four, three, Mindful of the sensations through your feet, your ankles, and your shins for two and one. Tabletop, return to your hands. Tap the tops of your feet onto your mat. Keep the tops of your feet firm. Sink your hips back for your ankle stretch. As you take a seat on your heels with shoulders over hips, option to reach your hands back and lift your knees. If you can keep your chest lifted, option to grab a hold of your knees and catch a little bit of balance. From the tops of your feet, your shins, and that deep knee bend, breathe here for five. Breathing deep and wide for four. Without the clench in your jaw, three, two, and one. Lower your knees, tabletop for half pigeon. Bring your right knee outside of your right wrist. Walk your left leg back and untuck your left toes. Big inhale to lift the heart and head. Exhale to release. Melt your chest and your forehead close to forearms or floor. Take the next few breaths into the sensation at your right hip and your right glute muscle. When you return to your hands, carefully shift the weight to your right, sweep your left leg out so you're on a diagonal line from your left hip out to your left heel. Bring your left elbow to the inside of your left leg and then bow out your right side. Press your right hip down as you roll your right ribs and right shoulder back. You want to stay really open through the chest, broad through the collarbones, through the C-curve of the spine. Slow to lift your torso and your arms. Exhale, spinal twist over to the right. Reach your right hand behind you and take your left hand to your right knee or right thigh. You stay in your twist for one more big breath in. Lift the heart and exhale to release. Take a few rocks and rolls the length of your spine. Tailbone to your brain stem, front to back, front to back. Stay really round through the back body and then cross at your ankles. Tabletop is where we meet. Half pigeon on the left. Swing your left knee outside of the left wrist and walk your right leg back. Once you feel settled, big inhale, lift the heart. That's a back bend. Exhale, fold, relax the chest, the shoulders, and your head. Take a few breaths. Let your energy and your attention funnel down to your left hip. You return to your hands, carefully shift the weight into your left hip, swing your right leg out and around on a diagonal line. Your right forearm come to your right inner leg as you bow out your left side body and open the heart, open the armpit. To maintain integrity, you actively press your left sitting bone down. Inhale, lift through center, arms above your head. Exhale, spinal twist over to the left. Left hand behind you, take your right hand to your left knee or left thigh. Feel your left ribs and left shoulder wrap back. We'll meet in Sukhasana, unwind from that twist. A big inhale, lift your shoulders up into your ears. On your exhale, roll them back and down. One more time, big inhale, lift the shoulders up. And exhale, wrap the shoulders down. 
Now the opposite direction, inhale, shoulders rise to the ears and then exhale, wrap them forward. Two more, shoulders up, exhale, shoulders forward. Last time, breathe it in and breathe it out. Sit really tall and drop your left ear over to your left shoulder. Relax the jaw and draw the chin to the chest and drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Chin to the chest, find the middle, one more each way, left ear, left shoulder. Chin to your chest, right ear, right shoulder. Keep your chin at your chest, interlace your fingers behind your head, hug your forearms and elbows in towards one another. Lift your chest up towards the chin as you simultaneously pull the chin down. Sit tall, and that will conclude today's full body stretch. I do hope that you feel a little more alive and connected to your body after breathing and moving. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others, and I hope to see you in another video soon.